without Andy Swap and those kids at that school doing all the studies they did, we uh, essentially would not have a job here. It's not often a bunch of school children can swing a deal worth a quarter of a billion dollars, but that's pretty much the story in Milford. Not often at all, but that <laughs> agreement prompted by the children has been reached. So find out more about the Wind Kids. It started with uh, me plowing a field next to my barn and noticing that all the soil got blown into my barn and sandblasted the paint. And I thought, there's power in the wind here. And instead of complaining about it, he thought, well, I wonder if this couldn't be put to good use. So he went to the state, got a, an anemometer from the Department of Natural Resources and started measuring wind. And that would be great to know how much wind I have to see if I could put up a little wind turbine and power part of my farm. And then it, it grew into Hey, this would be neat for my students to come out and see how to put up this little tower. It just amazed me how much math and science and technology we used in that little instance. I got to actually help quite a bit with putting up the tower, and that was basically what started the interest with me. Even as a sixth grader coming into the high school as a seventh grader, he, he gave the option to students to go out and put up towers and measure the wind speed. I think our children need to be educated, just like the rest of the population. When they hear on the news that this is a, a way for our country to become energy independent, and, and it's right in their backyard. Within a week of having the tower erected, I had three commercial wind developers knock on my door and say, what are you doing? Where's the data going? Can we have the data? Next thing I know, um, he sent us a 50 meter tower. When a professional MET team came out and took the tower down, I was there with them, and they said, oh, well, who put this one up? And I said, well, we did. And they looked at me like, what? You have a bunch of kids doing this? And they're like, you got to be kidding me. Andy had kind of prepared Milford as a community that was ready. Like any dream, uh, in the back of your minds, you don't really see it happening. When it happens, it's kind of a shocker, and especially when you go out there and see the towers themselves. The first phase of our Milford project is a 200 megawatt wind farm along with a 90 mile transmission line. It's going to provide a fairly good slice of energy to the city of Los Angeles. It was really nice to see how big they are really standing next to them. And I've heard that you can't get a feel for how big they are until you look off the top. Because of Andy Swap and his involvement of the high school kids, this project has seemed to unify the community. The Wind Kids is what they're called. They, they're kind of the ones that got this going. I gotta thank them. A lot of jobs are gonna be created for community it helps me out in the long run. We've increased, I would say, three times what we used to be in business in the hotel. That hospital wouldn't be in existence if it hadn't been for the, the tax base that this wind farm is going to put in. There are students that are going to go on to college. They're going to be managers. They're going to run things. There's going to be people that build America, our iron workers, our dirt movers, the laborers. The things they're learning on the wind farm right now, um, a work ethic, an attitude of work that Big things can come from just a small effort. Those are all things that we have to consider as educators, as adults, as parents. I would encourage teachers to, to try it. Our kids are very, very capable. That's our future, our kids. Just follow your dreams, that's about it. They take you places.